I know it's such a sensitive subject. Mm. And I know you live this in your life every single day with the passing of your son. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about the foundation? Sure, yeah. sure. I love talking about Kyle and the foundation. Um, the Kyle's World Foundation was founded in 2013. He passed in 2012, and I had to figure out a way to keep his legacy, you know, alive. Kyle was uh, at Lake Lanier, yep. and he was with family, and he was on a pontoon. I don't know. I I wasn't there. Right. But he was. There was a pontoon being driven, and he was being pulled on an inner tube. And there was a jet ski that ran, that was going crazy and acting willy nilly and kind of um, horse playing on the water, and it ran into the jet. It ran over there. There was two children on there, my son and another little girl, and they had injuries from it. So he didn't pass at Lake Lanier, but he was he was considered brain dead there, and he was in the hospital for two weeks. And you know, and I kind of sat and held vigil next to his bed. Um, and his heart stopped, because that was the thing. I was not pulling the plug. I mean, a lot of people rumored that, oh, she pulled the plug. No, that would have never happened. I'd still be sitting there if I could. Um, his heart stopped, and so we we did resuscitate. And um, I don't know, I, I vacillate with that, because I'm like, maybe we should have tried, and da-da-da. But then I was like, you know, he fought. You know, he fought for a long time. So um, I started the foundation in his honor. I have devoted all my businesses they're all, they have a thread of him in all of them. So my clothing line is called Eli Kish, okay. which is Kyle-ish backwards. So it's his name, like his, the words are kind of trans, transposed. Yeah. Um, and then of course there's the, the animated series that I'm working on is The Odd Life of Kyle Lyles. And it's a cool, I'm starting with the children's book, which will be out in about a month. Okay. Yeah, so I got all kinds of things I'm doing in his honor. What do you say to parents or you know who lose a child your strength mm -hmm. and how you were able to get to a peaceful place because just even hearing it I, I just I mean it's a touch and go yeah. you know I'm not peaceful all the time about it I have tantrums and I get re-mad <laughs> you know what I mean um and I and I start petitions and I do things yeah right, like, right. I had I start wanting to shake some tables okay so I I I don't even know if I have good advice, but I would say you take it one day at a time. Um, there is no way that someone can teach you how to grieve. Um, and I don't avoid Kyle. So, you know, people, I don't like hide his pictures and all that. Like he's got pictures and artwork all over my house. And, you know, I keep him as a constant. I wear his name on my neck. You know, I am very Kyle heavy. Yeah, I'm heavy on Kyle, I'm big on Kyle. So anyone knows, I'll be like, what? All right, now here's my say, Kyle. Yeah. You know, I can't hear the name anywhere.